All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Dinner Truth. It's your boy, Tino. Um, so today on the podcast, um, I've got someone who I've been following what they've been doing. Someone who, for me, reminds me of... I've seen, I've seen the work that he's been doing, and I see a lot of black entrepreneurship and that energy, really, that energy there and that growth there. Um, not only has he created one platform, but he's created numerous avenues um, in regards to... Um, event management in regards to creating a platform from creatives to be on, um, recording videos, someone who's definitely been in the scene and someone who's definitely put in a lot of work. And also someone who's also amassed a huge following in a short period of time. And, you know, that really shows the, the amount of work that he's put in. Um, so today on the podcast, I got the president. Yeah. Mr. D of the DME. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm calling, but I'm nervous, eh? Nah. You're nervous? Nah, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit? Oh, little man. Bit. Nah, yeah, thanks for having me, bro. What's going on? Man, I'm chilling, man. What's going on with you, man? Every time I see you, you are running around. You don't stay still. I'm moving, bro. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, eh? Just non-stop, everything. It's crazy. <laughs> so, look, man, one, one thing that I really wanted to get into right now is that I think a lot of people, they, they, they see Demi TV, right? Right, and they see, you know, how that's really grown, especially with the Australian drill, drill scene. Not even drill scene, but music just music, in general. Yeah, yeah, music yeah. just in general within um, Sydney growing. Yeah. And they've seen your platform and they've seen what your platform not only does for artists, yeah. but they've also seen, of, seen how big that, that cult following is. Right, you got some real followers that are plugged in. They're, they're, they're really watching your stuff consistently. Yeah. So I think I, I want to go right, I want to go back to the beginning, man. So tell us a little bit how... Um, it started, and so, you know how everything sort of gradually developed into what you're doing now. Yeah, man, it's crazy, eh? Like I came from like events background, so I do events. I used to do events, and I still do events. That's how I like I kind of just got started in the scene type of thing. So like back in the days, and that we used to chuck like big ass parties and that, like house parties, rooftops, all that. You know what I mean? And then like just get artists come perform, DJs and all of that type of thing. So I gained like some clout off that, like, you know what I mean? You become that guy that do parties and that, you get what I mean? So yeah, so like, I was doing that for a while and then like, I kind of put a slow to it, like slow down a bit, you know what I mean? And then yeah, like, the idea just came about and then I was just like, yo, like what, what's going on in Sydney right now type of thing, you know? Like mm -hmm. where, where, where do people go to find out what's happening, you know? Like music-wise type of thing. Like, there's no platform in Sydney, like where you can go and check out what artists is hap like is popping right now, like what music is coming out type of thing. Like, there's no way you can go to find that, especially like in Western Sydney type of thing. Yeah. So I was just like, yo, like, why can't I do it? You know. So boom, I created a page and we got to crack it. You know. I mean, it feels like were those were those like the red cup parties back in the day. Um, no limits. No lim Okay, so no before limits. we get into DME, I want to talk about no limits. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, well, how did that happen? And tell us a little bit about no limit and what were you trying to gain from that? Because from what I notice is that one thing that I like about you is I notice the thing the thing that you do is you don't sort of rely on other. You're there. You're present. Yeah. You know, a lot of people they may do something and they're not really present. Like you won't see them in the joint. You won't see them running around yeah. doing all the hard work. What I noticed about No Limits early, especially seeing a lot of the videos and photos, is that people were generally there. You were generally out here performing with the different acts. Yeah. You're generally out here, you know, cleaning, doing everything. So yeah. how, how, was, how were the No Limits days? And I know you're still doing stuff in No Limits, but... Yeah. Bro, it's crazy, eh? Like, I'm really... I'm, like, promoting. I'm, like, emceeing. I'm, like, cleaning up, like you said. You know what I mean? Like, I'm involved, like, 100%. You know what I mean? It's just like a passion that I grew, you know what I mean? Like, I, li I like events, you know what I mean? I like going to events, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I like, I like music. And then, like, I'm not a rapper or anything, so, like, when I get on stage and, like, MC, I feel like I'm a rapper, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I got the energy type of thing, like, to hype the people up. And it's, like, it's my event as well, so, like, and I got the energy, and it's, like, it just, it just goes hand in hand, you know what I mean? So yeah, that kind of just popped off, like, you know, like I started doing it in like small halls and that, like get a little place, rent it out, boom, pump it out, you know what I mean? And then it just grew and then it just went insane, you know, like it just got bigger and bigger and bigger, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel, I feel what you're saying, man, and I think now people can generally see, like, 
I guess the similarities between that sort of audience who's starting from events management and the music scene now, because yeah. I always say that music is just a reflection of society. Yeah. Whatever is happening in Western Sydney yeah. is a complete reflection of what is happening with the music. Right, so obviously saying that people, you seeing people, the events of seeing people excited. Yeah. Did you feel as if you were able to quickly transition that towards DME? Well, like with DME, it was just like, bro, like I said, like I was just like in my room one day. I'm just like wondering, like, all right, I do these parties, yeah. Like I feed people the event, you know what I mean? People are hungry for that. How about I feed people with like information of like music that's like happening and where we're from, because like. We don't have a media platform, especially for small artists. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like, where can where, where where can audience go to to connect with an artist? You know what I mean? It's, and because I started from scratch, it was just like an idea. I didn't expect it to to rise just like it did. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna do this, and long term, this go this what this is what it's gonna be like. You know what I mean? It's gonna be the biggest media platform in Sydney first, and then Australia, and then hopefully worldwide type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where people go and find out what's happening within the music scene in Australia type of thing, you know what I mean? Those were like the long-term vision for it. But I just wanted to start within Western Sydney, you know what I mean? I do parties in Western Sydney, all right. I slow down on the parties. How about I feed them the same energy, but this time like they get, instead of getting the excitement like they go into a party, they get an excitement like, yo, this artist is about to drop this, this date. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get what I mean? And DME was for that. Type of thing, you know? and and one thing I, and one thing I noticed about DME is like even watching it blow up, even let's just say from the beginning of the year, yeah. I think what DME has really showed people is the power of good content, yeah. right? The power of good content mixed with the power of the internet, yeah. right? Because you have you can get in one post you can get over a thousand people viewing that. I always tell people, you know how crazy that is. Mm -hmm. So in fifteen minutes, you can get a thousand people viewing one post at one time. Mm -hmm. That's there's so much power in connectivity. You know, and I think that, that that's what's been dope for me about doing me is because you've really been able to see because you know a lot of the a lot of the people I think one of the biggest disses about uh, Sydney or Australian entertainment mm. um, in general was people said that or oh, there is abs like even growing up like in, in Western Sydney going to high school yeah. it's like no, everyone was embarrassed yeah. to be in touch with Australian music. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And the, uh, only people who grew up in Sydney or grew up in Australia would understand what I'm trying to tell, uh, what I'm trying to say. People didn't really have that connectiveness to the artists. It felt like everyone was a bit distant, yeah. right? And I think what DME does really good is that it shows people one that you can do exactly the, the same thing that every artist is doing. You, you can do the exact same thing and it's reachable. But it also gives them that sort of connectiveness to. It's like a culture. Yeah. It's like you know, it's people people watch DME and they're like, oh, okay. I feel connected to it. Is that something that you were trying to, to get into? Yeah, like, because, like, I'm a person that's, like, I, like, I'm a, I don't know, like, a nice guy or whatever, so I'm cool with everyone type of thing. Mm -hmm. And because I created DME, it was, all, it was all good energy from the start. People know the vision, you get what I mean? Yeah. And because, like, I work with artists from all type of areas, no matter what kind of, you know what I mean? energy with between the artists like you know what i mean they know i'm i'm in between so it's all good energy you get what i mean you're neutral yeah so that's what dme is like it's just a connection like within the fans to their artists even if they don't know the artist yet and they know <coughs> dme is posting it like and if they support in dme they know that you know what i mean like i mess with the artists so they're gonna mess with the artists as well type of thing you know what i mean like a middleman type thing but, but like yeah, connecting the dots. Connecting the you dots. You know what I mean? Jeez. Yeah. So, look, where did, cause where did you get that entrepreneurial energy from? Like, what were some of your early influences? Bruh, uh, I got a question like that the other day. I, like, I'm like a business-minded person, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, everything I do is, like, long-term type of thing, you know? Like, when I started with events, I wasn't trying to jump in it just because, like, oh, I want to be the guy, blah, blah, blah. Like, I had a long-term vision, and I still do, with, with no limits. It's going to be, like, the the biggest festival soon, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's going to be the, the, the next thing in Sydney, you know? And it, that's, like, long-term vision type thing. It's something I always had, you know what I mean? And it's, like, I just got drive and, like, ambition in me, you, know? you get me? I mean, I mean, as a dope, you know, 
But is there something in your life, I guess, early that really helped get that drive for me? Because a lot of a lot of people just don't have that drive where they can be doing multiple things yeah. at the same time, yeah. working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting around. Yeah. Where did that? Where did that? Is this something that inspired you early to sort of get into that? Bro, like I'm the oldest in my house, right? So I always been like the breadwinner type of thing. So like I understand, and be, like because like I, I'm the oldest and stuff at home, like I. I'm responsible for like my little siblings and stuff like that. So like, I guess that kind of like made a thing in me like, yo, like if you're gonna do something like do it properly type of thing, you get what I mean? Like I grew up fast, like you get what I mean? Yeah. I grew up fast and I knew that no one is gonna give me anything. So I gotta get it, you get what I mean? I have to create it if I want it because there's, no there's no handouts over here, you get what I mean? That's literally, yeah. I, can, I can go talk about this for an hour, bro. I'm, I'm at the same wavelength as you. Yeah. In regards to like, even <laughs> people who watch this podcast, yeah. people watching, one thing that I always try to focus is, and say is that like, if you, don't, if you don't do shit, nothing will happen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you literally don't do shit, nothing will happen. But if you take a shot and you invest in yourself and put money down, it's like I was talking to another bedroom um, about a week ago and, you know, I was talking about music, blah, 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 yeah. and they wanted to go buy a beat. And um, online, and he goes, "Oh man, it's three hundred. I don't know if I should get that." <laughs> and I said to him, "Look, if you're not willing to spend three hundred, yeah. why am I here? Yeah. If you ain't willing to invest in yourself, if you ain't willing to put the money down at the bare basic, you know what I mean? Like, think of how much money you lost, like doing all this shit. A whole lot. How, you know how much money I lost doing all this shit. Yeah. Like, if you have that long term goal, like, and what's crazy is that some people don't have that. I swear." It used to sort of get on my nerve when I used to meet people who, and I know we talked about this before, but you know, meeting people who don't necessarily have the same drive as you, yeah. or who don't necessarily see the vision that you see in the in the medium term or the long term. Yeah. But um, even talking to you, like one thing that I realized is that you can't take everyone with you. You can't force that you can't. energy on people. Yeah. If some people are going to get it, some people aren't going to get it. If mm. you keep messing with people who don't get it, yeah. that energy is contagious. It's going to keep sucking you down. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I understand, but it's like when you when you want to build something, right? <laughs> like you can talk about it and this and that, like you can communicate about it, like it's just an idea. But then once you start the process of building it, you get what I mean? You get so busy, like you get caught up in a whole lot of things, you know what I mean? You're always like stressing out, like you're always like trying to put things together, this and that, and like you know what I mean, you get what I mean? Like it's it's crazy, and like one thing that comes with it is like you get distance from people, not because you like, not because you want to get away from them, but because you like you wanna you wanna build something for yourself. You get what I mean? Like yeah. you wanna create something, and because you wanna create some, like it needs it needs your time. So you're not always out, and you know it's like with people. You know it's like you're not always linking up type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So people become distant. Like you're still here, but you're caught up in what you're doing. But like everyone is just like it, everyone just kind of disappears and you ca you can't help them. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if they if they don't got nothing going on for themselves, or if they if they're not on the same boat as you, like you can't really force them to come. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you gotta sort of allow them to grow. And I think yeah, I'm more philosophical. You know, on a more deeper thinking than a true thinking type vibe. Yeah, it's just that I think. Everyone goes to different stages in lives when, when they will eventually realize it. Yeah. I honestly don't want to be 40 and realize that. You know what I mean? I'd rather go get it now, put in the work, deal with the stress. Because one of the things that I don't realize, I didn't realize while starting this, is how lonely it can be. It's not very... Lo not lonely as in like, but it's... You are... Everything is on you. For everything, example. Everything. Everything. And it becomes isolating. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. You find yourself somewhere by yourself and it could be the most riskiest place or it could be just, you know what I mean? You're always like, you find yourself alone. Mm -hmm. Not because you're a lonely person, but like you become isolated chasing this dream. You get what I mean? Yeah. It's and a lonely road in that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a lonely road. And I think, and, and going back to the, it's your responsibility. It's like, let's just say if right now a car came in and crashed through this window during this podcast. Yeah. At the end of the day, if we're all, we're all not dead, you'll go home, yeah. everyone else will go home. Yeah. I have to deal with this shit. Yeah. 
You got to build it. You know what I mean? I would have to deal with making sure you're all right, yeah. making sure he's all right, and making the, sure that the window's fixed. The I whole think building. I have to make sure that <laughs> everything is handled. Yeah. You know? Even if it may not be something that I can control. Yeah. You know, and, that's, and I think that's where the, the loneliness kick, kicks in. Yeah. But you know what? They're like in that, in that, I guess, isolation, in that loneliness spirit, yeah. you build this mental strength. You know, sometimes, and, and I, I know you know this, but sometimes you can't turn that shit off. Yeah. You be talking to someone, or have you ever heard this one when you're talking to someone and then they'll go, oh man, you're very intense, you're very focused. Yeah. And I'm like, isn't everyone like this? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Shouldn't everyone be like, focused, yeah. be intense about what they're doing? You know? When, when you find yourself, you know what I mean, isolated, like, I don't know, some, I've seen like some people become insecure or whatever type of thing. But like you said, you grow this mental thing. You like you, you become like a savage. You get what I mean? Not in a bad way, yeah, but like yeah. you're very passionate. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, you got like a chip in your shoulder type of thing because you wanna you wanna build this thing. Like, and because there's so much doubt around, like let's say, like yo, ha ha ha, like that's not gonna do nothing. You get what I mean? Oh, like look at this guy trying to do this. Like, you just become yeah. All right, then watch this. And then once the results start showing, and then they kind of like they get silent. And then you're like, yeah, don't get silent now. And then you just keep going. Yeah, type you of keep thing. You going, know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And, then, and then you know what's the worst one? <laughs> is when they get silent yeah. and they start hitting you with a, hey, bro, just want to let you know that, like, you know, what you're doing is great, man. Keep up the hard work. And another thing they do is they hit you up with the, bro, what? Everyone is trying, you know what I mean? What, you're too busy for us now? Once people start admiring you type of thing? Yeah. Like, you get all this love from other people, but then, like, the people you were kind of around before you started this, they kind of like disappeared. Mm-hmm. And then they started making jokes about it. And then once it start peaking a bit, they like, yo, what, you're too busy for us now? What, you don't come around and chill with the boys no more? But then you kind of like, bruh, like. You don't see it. Yeah. You like, don't see it. You hear what I mean? Like I was trying to explain this to you. What, you, you want to come around now? What, you were laughing back then? Like, you know what I mean? It becomes like that. <clears throat> but you know, and, and, and I think that's, I like the way you described that. You sort of become a savage, man. You become a savage to your, for, for what you love, man. And I feel like if you're not a savage, like you yeah. shouldn't be doing this shit. You have to become a savage, but like, you get what I mean? Like you have to be very, very, very mentally strong type of thing. You get what I mean? Because again, everything is on you. Like you're shooting off for this goal and all the responsibilities on you. Like you just said, if this building gets crashed now, it's on you because you're yeah. a podcast, right? If I'm hosting an <laughs> event, Right, it gets so packed. Some kid breaks their leg. That's on me. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Speakers break. That's on me. Something just happened. That's all on me. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. But people never see that. They just see the glamorous side of things. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yo, this person is, you know what I mean? It's it's crazy. But you have to become mentally strong. Mm-hmm. You get and what I mean? It's crazy, man. I like passionate. It, man. You got to be I, passionate I, I, you about gotta, all you do. You gotta, man, and if you're not passionate, you need to. Chill in a couch like this in your house and stay in there, you dig? Hey, man, this is Den of Truth, man. These, these are some Den of Truth conversations, man. Yeah. Shout out to my listeners, man. I know y'all <laughs> loving this content. But yeah, yeah but, but even, even just to, to, to go back to what you were saying, like, it's just that, man, every time I speak to someone who I had been following that work and, like, you know, they're generally being a bit more successful in my field. Right. Um, one thing that I notice is also is that I know you probably get DMs like this all the time, is that people will ask you, um, how did you sort of get to where you were with yeah. the followers and whatever. Yeah. And man, I think the best advice someone ever gave me is that you can't check the work. You can't. Like you can is, ever. You can, like, they, I can... Because you know, when people try to... When people ask for advice, right? And I'm guilty of it too. I think we're all guilty, guilty yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you ask for advice, you're yeah. basically just asking, oh, how can I get there quickly? Yeah. Right? And, and that's okay. Because, you know, there's, there's, there's good advice that you can take yeah. you know, to get around a lot of bullshit, yeah. right? But at the end of the day, like, you cannot cheat the hard work. You can't. You know, like, you cannot cheat the many hours, like, thinking about it, stressing about it. You can't. out of your environment. You can ever. Alone. You, there, there's so many things that you can't cheat. You can ever. You can never. There's no, like, shortcut to not. You get what I mean? Like, I get that question, too. But not, like, DMs. DMs, I get, like, a whole lot of stuff. But, like, people, like, let's say that... They seen DME, they seen like DME was getting noticed and stuff like that. The followings were going up. And then they were, they, they'll come around and ask like sneaky questions like, bro, what are you doing? Like, how come it's growing so fast? Uh, 
I'm like, I don't fucking know. You get what yeah. I mean? I don't I'm know. just working. Like, I'm just doing the work right now. I, didn't <laughs> even, I can't even tell. What, what, you get what, what I mean? End. I know what you mean. Like, sometimes you're just so busy, like, yeah. just doing the work. Yeah. You just look over, and then you realize that, shit, this is growing. Yeah. you're just so busy doing the work. Yeah, like, I get, like, when I began it, I'm like, I don't care about the followers. You get what I mean? I don't care about the likes. What I care about is the fucking vision. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is the vision for DME, and I don't, and I don't know how long it's going to take. You get what I mean? I started from what, what, like earlier this year, and then boom, it just shot up, skyrocket. You get what I mean? But I didn't expect it to happen that fast. Yeah. But because it was needed and no one was doing it, and then I popped up with it, I'm like, all right, then, is this what's happening? You get what I mean? It just gravitated, and then all these other stuff started jumping on the wave, blah blah blah, and then it just, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But, but you yeah. know what? Though? Like like you said, I think. Also, one thing that I guess DM, I wouldn't say, I didn't say favor because there yeah. ain't no such thing. You know what I mean? Like, you just put in the work. Yeah. It's not like someone gave you anything. Yeah. But, like, I think one thing that also helped the situation is that I think this year, yeah. the Australian music scene, whether you, people like the, the, the content of the music that's coming out of, out of Austra Sydney and Australia yeah. at the moment, but the Australian music scene has literally grown a hundredfold. It literally. did, bro. And it's, it's crazy. You get what I mean? Because I was like, I'm like in the middle of that. You know yeah, what I mean? You know what? Let's, let's talk about that because <laughs> you're, you have a very interesting perspective because Ew. you shut up, you shut up, and there were so many different artists. I'll, I'll probably just say Western Sydney. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go from Western Sydney and we'll, we'll go forward. But yeah. so many different artists from Western Sydney that, let's just go, even, even one four, mm. you, you, were, you, were behind the, you were behind the scenes for a lot of other artists, even yeah. in HP Boys. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So you've been in the middle of actually seeing this shit. A you've bit. been in the middle of seeing all the different uh, videos people are creating, all the different yeah. music people are creating. The energy, like the amount and the, and the, and the I guess, the, the quantity of people making music. Yeah. Now, yeah, bro, it's crazy. You get what I mean? Like, I've seen, like, people go from here to, like, here. You get what I mean? And it's like... It's good to be in that scene because you kind of, you're like behind the scenes and like, and then the world is like embracing it and then you're just like, fuck, you hear what I mean? It's like, it's, it's beautiful. It's man. mad, you know? Yeah. Because some of these people you're from, where they from, you met them before they blew up type of thing. And it's just, it's crazy, you hear what I mean? And it's like, some of these artists, like I work with them like way before they, they <coughs> way before they shot Skyrocket, you hear what I mean? And it's just, it's hectic to see, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and what's it like, you know, being, I know one of your biggest videos, one, one of the, the first videos I saw that you really blew up. You were obviously doing other videos before and you were doing well with that, but yeah. one of the ones that really blew up and that I saw a lot of people like making some noise about was the one with one four. Yeah. And um, which video was it? One of the flares? Nah, it wasn't the one with the flares, it was the message. It was the message, yeah. yeah. That was a big song in itself. It, so that's, I, saw where the, yeah. I saw where the reception was, but... You, when I saw your video, I thought that your video was the video clip. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you've you got a lot of good behind the scenes yeah. like shots. How yeah. was that like, man? And, and how'd you get that link? It was hectic, bro. Like, I'm from, like, around the area. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know these people behind the scenes type of thing. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, but one of the boys linked me up. Like, one of the boys from where I'm from type of thing. Because, like, they from where I'm from. Yeah. You get me? And like, I don't know the artists properly, yeah. but I know the people around them like properly. I grew up around them type yeah. of thing. You get what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So yeah, just like I was on my grind. Like I didn't know, like I wasn't even like listening to them like that before I even got to them. But again, me having the vision of DME TV, all right, I need to work with every artist. You get what I mean? And then boom, one of the boys link, yo, there's a video shoot, this and that, da 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 da, send me deets. Boom, I pull up to the shoot, you know what I mean? They respected the vision, you get what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it was all good. Like, it was a mad shoot, but like, it was hectic. Good times, you mm -hmm. get what I mean? And, and, and it ain't crazy, man. You got people out here, man, saying, man, I want to be on DME TV, man. <laughs> oh, shit, is this DME TV? Yeah, Come and like, like, again, being at that shoot type of thing, it wasn't like, ah, oh, I'm going to go to a one four shoot. I was just like, I'm going to go to this video shoot because they're artists from Western Sydney type of thing. Mm -hmm. So I need to cover it, you get what I mean? So I just went there and then I shot my thing. And then like, again, they were like at a small level type of thing. You know yeah. what I mean? They weren't as big as what they were now. Yeah. Like that song kind of like 
Took him there, yeah. It took him there. And like me being there from the start type of thing, like they seen the vision I had, I seen the vision they had type of thing. I shot my content. And the reason why I blew up like that is like, I went there, I was just like, all right, then I shoot some behind the scenes. And then I, I done like a little interview, you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everything happened in a small period of time, like a day or two before the shoot. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not prepared. Like, I don't know. Like, you get what I mean? And it's so crazy. It's like, all oh, these people around. You get what I mean? So, yeah, like, I just shot a little interview. I edited myself. You do all the editing yourself? Like, not everything now, but like back then. Like, yeah. Was, like, yeah. You get what I mean? Like, everything myself type of thing. Mm-hmm. I still do a lot of stuff for myself right now. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I shot that little thing, like that little content. Chopped it up on my laptop, and then I remember when I posted it, <laughs> I was like on the I was on the way to the city to a performance to shoot some more content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm in the car with my mate. I'm like, fuck, let me just put out this thing that I shot the other day. You know what I mean? Yeah. I put it out. All the boys were like so happy. You get what I mean? They were so like you know, they were so Embracing. happy. You yeah, get what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like everything was so good. You know what I mean? And man, that's, that's great when you when you like when you have a crew of boys who generally just they give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? They actually just generally care. They just want to see you win. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what you're doing, they just want to see you win. Yeah. But also, with DMA, what, what I like about it, and we talk, again, we talked a little bit about this before, was that it is such a unique platform right now that is needed. Yeah. Because it's like, now with social media, it's, people can check what you're doing the whole day. Right? Yeah, You can they connect do. to a market, and they can see what you're doing 24, 7 hours of a day. Yeah. Right? People can actually... People don't want you, people, you know, before, you know, everything was so distant that it felt like people were above other people. But now it's like when they watch DME, they feel like you're walking with them. Yeah. They feel, they feel like a sense of connectiveness. And I think that's what the, the platform has done a really good in. I think the platform also has done a really good job in breaking some of these artists. Because now yeah. artists are looking at you, they're like, man, if, if I want a million views, goddamn, I gotta be on DME TV. Yeah, maybe not a million yet. Yet. No. Uh, hey, I see some high views. You know what man. I mean? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. But soon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I know what you're saying, bro. It's like, it's crazy, bro. Like, like, <sighs> like I wouldn't say like I helped them break, but I definitely gave them a push. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I gave some people a push, a good push. You know, yeah. <laughs> it got a, a good push. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what we're saying that. Like, yeah, yeah. like your finesse or anything. It's just like, yeah. It's like the platform now has as such a big viewership, such a big cult following that people yeah. know that. If you're working with someone, it generally means that they fuck with the, you. Have some, you have credibility. Yeah, right? I do. People, people look at your shit and like, all right, so this can't be shit if this guy's posting it. Like, if DME's posting it, there has to be some um, some work behind it, some credibility behind it. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing because that's what we're missing, man. Like, there's a lot of things that the Sydney or the Australian entertainment industry have been missing, and I think now this year was a good year for all the different bricks to be put back into places. So yeah. now a lot of people like DME TV. And, and yourself and, and No Limit, you guys, No Limit Festivals, you guys are putting the bricks, bricks back in, you know what I mean? You guys are giving people that credibility, you guys are giving people that thing to, to relate to, because I was relate to. Videos. I'm like, Ew. since when the hell could 200,000 people watch a video from a dude from Western Sydney? Yeah. It's, I, thought that was, I thought that could never happen. It's strange, but it's, I don't know, it's like, I... I, I don't I know what you mean. <laughs> I, I feel like... I'm gonna say with you, like you know, growing. Think about like growing up in high school yeah. in, in Sydney. Like, how many artists do you did, did you really fuck with in Australia? Hip hop acts. In Australia, fuck. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Not many. To none. Not many, and definitely not a lot. Like, I, I've known artists that made music for a very long time, so I definitely support them because yeah, yeah. like they're my peoples and that. Yeah. But like. To say I uh, listened to this is my favorite Australian artist, like I, I didn't know who went to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There was no one to go to. Yeah, and I feel like yeah. now 200,000 people have and felt now, that way. They felt that way, and now they're yeah. having some artists that they connect to. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's a great time, man. I think that a <laughs> lot of people, I think next year, there's just gonna be a saturation of music in the Australian music scene. I know so many people who are putting out some dope music next year. Yeah. I think that next year, I wanna call this. Everyone make sure I get my credit for this. Next year is going to be the year that people legit... Ne- maybe in the next two years, whether that be next year or the year after, yeah. gen- people are generally going to be making money in the Australian music scene. I think now there's too many bigger corporations 
um, investing in the scene, whether that be Spotify, Apple. Yeah. You see Sony and Universal now are active. They are active. They're trying to get into like um, events. They're trying to get into like all the different cultural influences. They're trying to they're trying to get into the markets. They're trying and to then, they're trying they're trying to get to DME TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yo, now yeah, hey, listen, I just hope everyone that's that has really like a passion for the music, like I hope, like you said, next year, hopefully, is the year for them to start like getting paid for it type of thing you get what i mean yeah, it becomes yeah. like their full-time thing i hope all of that happens you get what i mean and it's just like like you just got to respect it you get because you've seen it happen you know yeah. like you've seen people putting work like you know and then hopefully it pays off type of thing if I it mean, doesn't as long as they keep going it's gonna pay off eventually yeah i mean you it know? definitely will man and yeah. now you're starting seeing a lot of international attention as well Mm. Which has been interesting because Australia is far from anything, man. Yeah. Australia is an island, man. I saw some people like, anytime you go overseas, people are like, man, I'm surprised there's black people in Australia, bro. Yeah. Like, the, I think it's, most people know that there's indigenous people, aboriginals, but like when they start talking about Africans, they yeah. get confused. They're like, man, where's your accent from? You know what I mean? Now, yeah, shout out to the Aboriginals, but I grew up around them. You get what yeah. I mean? So, same like, as me. I grew up in Armadale. That's, that's, like, that's, that's my peoples. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's weird. Like people, they, like they look at you. Oh, where are you from, Australia? Blah, blah, blah. Or like, I don't know. Like they look at an accent and they're like, "Oh, you got a really Aussie accent. How long have you been here?" Like, come on. Same, bro. same, the same, same <laughs> yeah. as you. But you know what? You know what, yeah. what's the crazy one? Yeah. I get a lot, and I, like, I work in the corporate environment. Yeah. The craziest shit people can ask you is that, like. Hey man, you know, say they say, hey, how you doing, man? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. And they're like, wow, you speak English really well. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Duh. How long? How, how long you been in Australia? <laughs> well, what, what, what's your background? I'm Australian, just like you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how you shut down these people. I swear, you know, I know you probably hear this a lot. You know, people people ask you, or oh, what's your background? Where you from? I'm like, same place you from, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I tell people these days? I don't know. People were just like, oh, where you from? I just like, I'm from planet Earth. You hear what I mean? Yeah, fuck, I'm from like, place here. Like, I'm from Earth. Where you from? You hear mm -hmm. what I mean? One other thing I wanted to talk to you about, man, is um, Melbourne. Yeah. Right? So I've had a lot of people talk about Melbourne. They, I think Melbourne has a very good culture. Yeah. Right? I think the, the lockout laws literally stripped Sydney culture for about four years. Yeah. So now we're just scrambling to try to get that shit back. <laughs> But Melbourne has really fostered, and, really, and I think the, the, the Victorian government done a really good job in fostering that culture, making, making it sort of liberal where artists can make money and art is like a real thing. Yeah. But well, who do you, I wanted to ask your opinion. Who's got better artists, man, Sydney or Melbourne? Um, off rip Sydney because that's where the attention is coming from. You get what I mean? Yeah. It's like way more artists in Sydney than Melbourne type of thing. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. I reckon Sydney off the bat. Sydney off the bat? Yeah. That's true, man. But fuck, man. I'm telling but you. But Melbourne is all right, but you get what I mean? Shout out to everyone that's doing their thing over there. Yeah. You know? It's hectic. It's crazy, man. It's crazy what they did to the Sydney brothers out there, bro. Yeah, you nah, know, yeah. They, we remember they went for the period of like that. Ten months to a year? Yeah. A bit of a year when every single day them <laughs> brothers were on the news, man. They yeah, them crazy. Every African in Melbourne for a stretch, one year they play. They try to play them, man. They try to play, but they failed. You get what I mean? It's like, it's like after a while, you just like if you got a brain, you're just like these people can't be that bad. Like you get what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't be that bad. Like every weekend, like nah. On, but it's man. just like it's just a, something will happen, and then they'll put a whole mix to it. You get what I mean? And then they just pump it out on the news. But mm. I mean, know? look, man, they're gonna add the drip to everything. You know what I mean? It definitely do, bro. But man, so look, I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Where, because cause I know now what I know from DME, what you're doing now is, I reckon you're straight up breaking artists. Yeah, that, man. That, that, that's what I straight up think. Yeah. Right? You're, you're doing the distribution. Yeah. You're, um, you're pretty much doing the management in regards to linking the, the you're doing all the videography. You're pretty much doing all the shit. You're pretty much breaking the artists. Right? What is sort of where are you trying to take this? What what are you trying to where are you sort of trying trying to transition this to? So DME the the name DME is like so DME stands for Double M Entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. 
And double I'm M. people didn't know that, bro. Yeah. Yeah, double M Entertainment. DME, go, baby. DME stands for double M Entertainment. And mm-hmm. double M is my initials, right? Yeah. So it's like black and businesses, baby. I had to put that one in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. So, like, I tell people this. I tell people just remember the three letters D M E. You get what I mean? Yeah. Because they're gonna be around for a very long time. You get what I mean? Yeah. So under D M E, there's there's no limits. Yep. There's D M E T V. Yep. And then there's other stuff that I'm working on. You get what I mean? Yep. Like other club events and that. And then like regarding DME TV, like I just want the vision to get bigger and bigger. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like helping some of these artists, like you said, breaking them. Hopefully I'm breaking them because me, I'm just doing what I'm doing. I don't know what the outsiders see. But yeah, like just just keep helping the culture however I can. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then... Five years from now, I don't know what will happen, but it's definitely, I'm definitely going to be putting in a whole lot of work and those results, I don't know. We just have to wait and see, but they're definitely, it's definitely going to be something, you know what I mean? I feel you, man. It's definitely going to be something. Look, man, and I see see the vision that you're doing, man, and I fuck with what you're doing in regards to, man, you're you're not even, you're taking on the whole entertainment thing, man. You're sparking the minds of a lot of people, a lot of brothers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sparking the minds in regards to, okay, let's just say, if you, you're not an artist. Yeah. Let's say if you don't have that vocal talent, man, there's so many other things that you can do. There's so many, if you, like you said, think of everything like a business is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Australia is a, a big economy, man. It's a trillion dollar economy. A lot of people are making money in this, in, in, in this place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I think it gives people the... I think it gives people, people someone who is relatable to sort of to sort of fuck with. Yeah. But you know what, man? Uh, look, I appreciate your time. Um, I think what you're doing is crazy. Um, I, I know next year is gonna be a year, bro. I think it's gonna be a very big year. Next year is gonna be insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be insane. I just hope everyone keeps doing their thing, like whatever their thing is, and. Don't try to jump in what's working for someone else. Like, create something for you. Stay in your lane. Help out how you can. You get what I mean? Because what works for another man doesn't work for you. You get me? If your heart is not there. So a message to everyone out there. Stop riding waves. You dig what I'm saying? Create your own wave. And, like, shout out to you, but, like, I remember when I seen your thing, I was like, yo, like, this nigga's doing something, you get what I mean? Mm, mm, and like, mm. I like podcasts, I'm like, all right then, who does podcasts in Sydney? I'm like, this guy, let me hit him up. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh. And, and you know what, straight up on that, yeah. you know, like even the way that we started communicating, bro, we never met each other, but when we started communicating, yeah. it was an instant yeah. understanding, you know what I mean? It, it, wasn't, it wasn't on some like, some fake shit, it wasn't on some like, I'm, you're doing the most, I'm doing the most type thing, it was just yeah. generally, hey man, I fuck with what you're doing, you fuck with what, what I'm doing, it's better off for everyone yeah. if we see if we, we, we put our resources together. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't do that. I don't think a lot of people have that, that yeah. vision. Like we were talking last time, but I'm like, all right, I do this stuff for artists, but people like us who do stuff for like artists and that, who does stuff for us? I'm like, he does. You get what I mean? True. I, I never thought of it like that. He, he comes and talks to us. You get what I mean? Mm. At least someone cares about us because <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we care about all these other folks. You get what I mean? Yeah. But now, yeah, it's, it's good for you. You know what I mean? Like, I respect what you're doing as well because, mm. you know what I mean? It's crazy, man. But look, we got to end the podcast, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate the, the love. Yeah. My brother, great having you on, man. That way. Easy. If it ain't PC, don't concern me. DM me. Let's go. <laughs>